Hey guys, so you know me and Dominic are here at home. It's Monday night, right? It's like 10:23 at night, and um, my hair is not brushed. What else is new? Yeah, so just spending time with this guy over here, and what he is doing is he is um we bought the drawer um, from IKEA. He actually went to get it and it was in stock and so i didn't like the knobs on it so he ordered new knobs and he's installing them right now right bad dad so much fun i can't contain myself <laughs> so we just had something to eat and we are eating or we were Edible arrangements. It's kind of almost gone. Dominic ate it all. Well, it's for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I sent him edible arrangements today because tomorrow. Well, I sent him edible arrangements for a couple of reasons. And um, the first reason was because I love you, right? That's what the card said because I adore you. <laughs> the second reason is because tomorrow is our two year engagement anniversary. Two years ago tomorrow two years ago tomorrow. Right? Did I say that? What you trying to say? Two years ago tomorrow, like what happened? Two years ago, he asked me to be his wife. So, I can't believe it has been two years since he proposed to me. And um, and the third reason is he's been awesome. You guys have all seen it. He's been so awesome during this pregnancy. So I sent him edible arrangements today, but he said it was so much strawberry. So he brought some home for me and Sam for himself. I hope you guys are having a good night. Why you stop singing? <laughs> Guys, this is our living room. It turned into the IKEA warehouse. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, <d> <laughs> <sighs> He's so strong. <laughs> He's almost done. One, two, three, four, five. You have the voice of an angel. <laughs> Guys, I really think I'm going to have this baby sooner than later. The 29. No baby, Duh. not the 29th. <clears throat> but definitely sooner than later. But I feel like all first time moms say that. Like, my baby's gonna be here early and here we are at 42 weeks and the baby still hasn't come out. Baby, baby. Oh. Are you gonna sing? Are you gonna sing to Sam so she comes out just like that? I'm gonna sing. <clears throat> I don't know. There's no motivational song for babies coming out. I don't know. I am tired of sticking up the fight. This is my life, guys. This is my life. By the way. Sorry, the vlog on Sunday was so short. I mean, I didn't feel good that this past weekend, so I really was like just like napping, and I'm really trying to fix this hair, but it is not working. Anyway, so I was like napping, and then we didn't do much except visit Julie. Oh, Daddy, you're so strong. 
Oh yeah, because I'm gonna help you. What an excuse. I'm pregnant, you know. You just came from the gym to work out again. Oh, look at those muscles. Oh, I really like her, babe. That's the girl I like from American Idol. I like a couple of contestants. Trent is one of them. I just got home from work and um, I didn't even have lunch today. Uh, not because I wasn't busy, but I wasn't hungry. So I stopped by. Guess where? Guess where I stopped by, guys, before I got home. I stopped by Chipotle. Probably doesn't look that great, but those of you who like Chipotle know this is a bomb.com. When I went to order, I was like, can I have some guac? She was like, you know guac is extra, right? I was like, yes, I know. Like, I love guac. But um, yeah, I just picked up this because I didn't have any lunch, but my mother called me today. Ah, oh, how great is it to have a mom that loves you. She called me and she said she cooked. Joining me is this handsome fella over here who just got like three packages and two it looks like three two packages he's always getting packages every day in this household on the steps there are packages anyway so i want to see what's in the package and i guess Ooh, let's do dom's unboxing unboxing of i don't know what guys because i don't know what it is What's in here? What the heck is that, baby? Of course, I see Batman already. Uh, not one, not two, not three, but four. Oh, more action figures. I'm so excited. I need to collect them all. I already told you guys, this man loves Bat. He's a Batman fan. And you know how guys are, they don't call these toys. They're bigger. They're bigger. So you're gonna let Samara play with them? They're collectible action figures, uh huh? If I, play, if I played with them, she could play with them, but I haven't played with them. Ain't no so I have a question. What are you gonna do with all these figures in the future? Are you gonna keep them forever? I'm gonna pass them on to my children. What if your child doesn't like Batman? Then they can sell them as long as I'm gone. But they'll be worth more than what I can for now. So that's why you're buying it because you're a fan, or because well, they'll, be I'm a fan and they'll be worth more. They'll be worth something. So it's easy to buy something that'll be worth something that you like. Okay. Oh, no, one more box. What could it be? More figures, I assume, because it's like the same box. More Batman. Man, bat. Looks like gargoyle. Awesome. Next one on my list is him. He hasn't come out yet. But he will be mine. Okay. Literally, guys, if I show you, it used to be in that closet, but it's not because he has an office. There. It's still in there? Yeah. He has an office, a whole office to himself, for himself. Maybe I can get some shelves so I can put them on display. What do you guys Whatever, think? just in the box take them out of there. And you have like a whole office to put stuff. My closet's full there. <laughs> he has a whole extra room and it's full. I don't think well, that's I need fair. display shelves. 
Watch daytime soaps, eating like, ants on the wall. You want me to do that? You know that? Listen, matter. this is for the future. But it's, it's an investment. It's like stocks, except they're fun. I have the keys to my old house, breaking and entering. Breaking bad. Breaking. Breaking and entering. If I could only know which key it was. My mom's gonna be like, how the heck you got in here? Open the door just as slow as you always have. Hey, family! Hi, Talia. They haven't seen you in my vlog for a while. Can you say hi? Hi, Jocko! Hi, baby! Hi, Bobby. Hello, Pansua. Camarita, a tweet. Hi! My sister washing dishes. Once in a lifetime. You are so annoying. My dad working hard. Like always. Can you say to electric beats? Oh, the Miami. The Miami. And they feed us well here in the town. Dime. So, say. We're married. Uh huh. And so we die. Uh huh. And then your sister fall in love. Would you be mad from heaven? Would I be mad from heaven? First of all, if I was in heaven, I don't think I'd be able to see this. But let's say this is a movie. It's a TV show. It's a TV show. Would I be mad that you dated my sister? Yes. I would want to come down and choke you. What? And choke her we too. You people have like. It's. You know, I'm not making something happen on a TV show. <laughs> so what you're getting this from? What Arrow? Basically. Okay, first of all, it just ha I just so happened to die, and then you fell you in love murder, with my you just sister. Died of natural causes. No yeah, and then you fell in love with my sister. But it was that's weird. You don't think that's weird? But li it's not like I was like, hey, Tanya, let's hang out because your sister's dead. Like it wasn't like that. It was just like, you know, she was there consoling me, and she's she happened to be a waitress at a restaurant that I ate at, so she would give me like free food and stuff. And she would see me eat and get fat, and then I got into shape. Are you bringing me to fun? And then, but then we just hung around each other. We both suffered the same loss, and we were just there for each other. But not in a romantic way. We were just being there because we suffered the same Of loss. course I would be mad. If I could come back from the dead, I will haunt both of you. And how do you think the family would take that? Like, they, they, they will disown. They will disown. They will disown Talia. You know what I'm that I can't be mended once I'm broken. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but that's what happened. Well, that's your. There's two brothers, so two. A brother was married to his wife. Uh huh. And the guy was murdered. His brother was well, murdered. But his now widowed wife worked at the well, restaurant, and they they weren't trying to fall in love with each other. They were just around each other. I don't care. I would think out of respect for your dead wife, you would not try to pursue that. Yeah, but That's what kind it, of weird. What it, <laughs> well, it's not real, Tali. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, guys. Wait a minute. He does, he's not in love with my sister. We're hypothetically speaking. Okay, guys. I am. Oh, I <laughs> Yeah, so, but, but so, wouldn't you want me to, or you don't want me to get remarried or anything? Like I would that? like you to get remarried. Get married. Not to my sister. Yeah, but essentially, you want me to get married to a person that you know would take care of me and make me happy. Okay, a person that would take care so, of me. Talia, she's saying you're not. She's saying you're not worthy enough, Talia. She's saying you ain't gonna do the job. That's why you should have been with my sister. <laughs> That's essentially what's happening because she wants me to get married and she wants me to be happy. That's weird. That's like I'm gonna die and we're dating your dad. <laughs> so in summary, Thalia is not worth enough to be married to me. Of and course not. Yeah, I'm gonna be lonely for the rest of my life.
If I died, I would want you to be happy with somebody else. Take another layer down. So say, same situation, um, you know, the pics. And things didn't work out between Paulina and Jean, and then me and Paulina <laughs> connecting. Again, we're, we're stretching the rubber band here, but you said not your sister, so then. What about Paulina? None of my close so friends. Paulina's not worthy, basically. Sorry, Paulina. I never said Paulina yeah. wasn't worthy, but that's weird. Like I died, and then you go with my best friend. Well, everybody's not, gonna oh, think. Not, it's not like a month later. Yeah, but everybody's gonna think that you were with my best friend while you were with me. I'm selfish. Why I try to fight it? And you know what? I don't want you to be with anybody. If I die, you die lonely. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What if it was the other way around? Yeah. Yeah. What if it was the other way around? What if you what if you died and I started dating Rob? I wouldn't be mad for that. I like Rob. I think Rob's a good guy. What is wrong with you? I wouldn't think anything of it because I can understand how something can be created through devastation. I wouldn't think, oh, Rob had a, a thing for her the whole time. I don't. We're not saying there was any prerequisite feelings there. So you would let me marry Rob if you died. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Well, sorry, I'm selfish then because I don't want you to marry any of my best friends or family members. There's there's enough women in this world for you to choose yeah, from then. Obviously, when I'm in my time of grief, I'm not going to just talk to any woman. Donna, will you die? It's going to be Paulina. <laughs> well, too bad. So, Paulina's married. So if it happens, I can't talk to you, Talia, because we can't accidentally fall in love you. <laughs> Talia's married too. Yeah, hello. My mom looking at us like we're crazy. Anyway, end scene. Did you get them done? They're just natural. I hope I really had the sense that I rush them, the sense that I rush. <laughs>